From the Nine Storm Center, this is Jeff Morrow. Well, as Grant mentioned, a few of you seeing some rain showers out there today. They were scattered in nature. We saw some of the heavier rain along the Mississippi River that extended across sections of West Baton Rouge Parish up towards the southern campus as it rained out their scrimmage. A few of our weather watchers reporting in totals close to an inch of rain, but others reporting just a couple hundredths to a tenth of inch of rain. Partly cloudy skies, slightly humid here for the midnight hour. We'll ease our way down into the lower 70s as we start towards daybreak with a sun cloud mix mild conditions as you wake up. Then as we go through the afternoon, fairly dry pattern in place for our day tomorrow with partly cloudy skies for most, but things will begin to heat up. That'll be the noticeable change with the daytime high expected to be 93 degrees. We topped out at 90 degrees for the afternoon high today. Tropical storm Isaac, of course, getting many of the headlines out there across the southeast. And as you'll note, 60 mile per hour sustained winds moving northwest at 17 miles per hour. And again, you sort of see the convection beginning to build up closer to that low level center of circulation. And that's where we are possibly seeing some strengthening of Isaac. Now the Hurricane Hunter aircraft will be out around 1 o'clock in the morning to give a little bit more detailed look into Isaac as to what could be strengthening currently with the observations. And that all goes into the model data to help indicate where the track could be. Stronger storms tend to have a different track as opposed to weaker storms. Right now, though, it's anticipated to be a Category 1 hurricane as it enters the Florida Straits along the Florida Keys late Sunday evening, then moving into the eastern and northern sections of the Gulf by Tuesday evening. So it's looking like a landfall possibly late Tuesday early Wednesday or at least a second landfall across the northern Gulf Coast and as it makes its way in notice the cone of uncertainty all the way into the Mississippi Louisiana state line and as far east as just east of Tallahassee so still some uncertainty as to where exactly this storm will be headed and we probably won't get a great idea as to where it will be headed until we get into early Monday morning we think decent consistency with the models as we go through the Florida Keys by two o'clock on Sunday. And then as we go up towards the Gulf Coast, this black line right here, that is the official National Hurricane Center forecast. And you'll note a lot of models to the west of that track pushing into sections of the Mississippi Gulf Coast as well as to far eastern sections of our state here as we go into the pre-dawn hours on Wednesday. So this is why the National Hurricane Center shifted their official track a little bit farther to the west uh, this evening, and we'll have to wait and see if they do even more shifts to the west as we go into the day tomorrow. A couple of models I wanted to show you out there. This is what we call the NAM, and it's not necessarily a reliable model for tropical weather, but this is maybe a site of good news. This came out about an hour ago, and you'll note the storm moving into the northern Gulf Coast, but gets picked up by a trough and pushes it a little bit farther off towards the northeast, possibly making landfall near Destin, Florida. Another model we're going to be looking at, the tropical RPM, and this is a model that shows a very strong hurricane moving through sections of southern Florida, hugs the coastline by Monday afternoon. So this is another model that keeps the storm a little bit farther towards the east. And the last one I wanted to show you is our own Titan 9 precision cast as it makes its way through the Florida Keys, also moves up into the northeastern sections of the Gulf Coast and makes landfall near Apalachicola, which has been sort of the consensus over the last Last couple of days. So just a few models that are still indicating that eastward track, but some of the more reliable ones are also indicating a westward track. So we'll keep an eye on it. 10% chance of rain tomorrow will be mainly dry Monday and Tuesday, and all this is assuming an eastern landfall away from southeast Louisiana. We have more of nine news coming up after this. Stay with us.